Hello and welcome to WISE. In this video, you will not only see how to create a supplier within WISE, but also how to utilize existing templates and additional details to accelerate the process and extend the detail included. Suppliers or vendors provide the products that you sell, as well as services you may be charged and required to account for. Each vendor that you purchase from must be registered via a vendor card. This can be either manually generated or through templates that you receive with your subscription to WISE. Depending on your role center, this can either be done by navigating to the vendor list page and clicking on new in the ribbon, or just click on new in your role center and choose vendor. WISE provides templates for new vendors. Here are templates both from the trial and the industry template you receive once you have purchased a subscription to WISE. If the template meets your requirements, highlight the line and click OK. This populates the default accounting details on the vendor card with the specifics from the template we chose. We will point each one of them out today in more detail later in the video. The vendor card is given a incremental number from the designated number series. Here it is V10. The only default field left for us to populate is the name field, outlined with the red star here. You can also add additional relevant information such as address and contact details, payment information and shipping information, each organized into sections called fast tabs. To speed things along, you need only enter your postcode and your supplier's city. To have a primary person accounted for within the vendor, add a primary contact like so. Just click New. Change contact type to person, then associate this contact with the company. If you did this from the contacts page, the company name field will auto-populate. You can add as many contacts within a vendor as you require, and even add different contact and communication details from the vendor card. Therefore, when you're in a purchase order and you choose a specific contact, their details will populate the order, not the default vendor details. Within the invoicing tab, the vendor's posting groups are pre-populated based on the template you chose. These are default fields required to process against the vendor. Hover over general business and GST posting groups to see their purpose and even vendor posting group to learn more about these fields from the tool tips. Within payments, you can enter details that will streamline processing payments to this vendor. If you process EFT, enter a lodgement reference number, payment terms and payment method, and where this vendor sits as a priority from one to nine. You lastly should add a vendor bank account if you wish to process EFT with this vendor by selecting bank account. Click on new and enter a code. This enables you to distinguish bank accounts if the vendor has multiple. The only default information you have to enter is their name, bank details, and you can enter contact and communication details within here if you need to. To finish this off, let's give your new vendor a picture and you can now find our new vendor in our vendor list page. Great, you just created a new vendor in WISE.